going on guys i'm steve welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video if it's your first time stopping by the channel hit that subscribe button trust me you won't regret it if you're a returning subscriber as always guys welcome back and i do appreciate the support i just want to talk about a story about uh some juveniles that was in a vehicle speeding in a philadelphia neighborhood and it hit another car another pickup truck right It left the man, 40 year old man, fighting for his life right now. These kids was dressed in all black, with ski masks on, a bunch of goofy stuff. I wanna show you this accident footage and I want you to see how fast these kids were going in a residential neighborhood and look at how much damage they caused. This is a very, very vicious crash. Take a look at this and we'll come back and talk about it. Tonight, a wild crash in Port Richmond captured on surveillance video. The driver of a black pickup truck speeds past a red light, T-bones a white truck, sending both vehicles smashing into a row of parked cars. The driver who was hit is in critical condition. This is the 10 o'clock news. I'm Sheba Russell. Tonight, Philadelphia police are searching for at least four people seen fleeing from the crash scene at Richmond and Venango streets. And Kelly, you were in the neighborhood. What are people telling you? Well, Sheba, this was obviously a huge shock for people to wake up to. I did speak with the owner of one of the cars hit, and he tells me it was totaled. Now, police say the 40-year-old driver that was injured in this crash remains in critical condition. They say he's an AutoZone employee, and many in the community tonight are thinking of him and hoping he makes a full recovery. Surveillance video provided to Fox 29 captures the chaotic moments in Port Richmond this morning. Police say a Dodge Ram speeding down Venango Street ran a red light and T-boned a Chevrolet truck driving north on Richmond Street. And in another video, you can see the aftermath. Both cars crashed into at least five parked vehicles. Dolores Wilson says she stepped outside seconds before the crash. I figured, well, you know, it might be a delivery. In the door, I heard the bang. I seen the tire flying. There were auto parts, and the parts from cars and everything going all over. Police say after the crash, four juveniles wearing dark clothing, ski masks, and puffy coats got out of the Dodge. Police say three might have fled in a white SUV that was following them. A neighbor whose car was totaled in the crash yelled out their license plate. The driver of the truck hit, an AutoZone employee, was taken to the hospital, according to police. After the cars were towed, neighbors and an employee with the crazy leprechaun helped clean up the aftermath into the afternoon. Several neighbors tell Fox 29 speeding continues to be an issue in their community, and they feel this should have never happened. It used to be so quiet around here, because I'm here 40 years. We have a sign that's 25 miles an hour. That's their stop sign. In other words, they started 25 miles and zoom up the street because they raced down there. And again tonight, police say they're looking for at least four juveniles. Their investigation is ongoing. If you have any information, contact the Crash Investigation Division. Sheba. Kelly, do police have any idea why that black pickup truck was speeding like it was through that neighborhood? No, it's unclear. I did ask if they were looking at it for any other reason earlier in the morning, if there's any chance that vehicle was stolen, and they said it's still ongoing. All right, one of the most horrific crashes we've seen in a while. Kelly, thank you. Guys, you've seen the footage. And question, when the lawmakers going to get tired of seeing this type of stuff? And it's, this is something that's growing. Reckless abandon. They speeding down a street full of cars parked on both sides. A bunch of kids and said they was juveniles, right? Four of them. You see how easily they walked away while this man is fighting for his life in the hospital? Did you see all of that stuff he had in the back of his truck? All of that stuff, he might have needed most of that stuff. Had value to him. Strolling across the damn street. Wheel flew off the car they was going so fast. Why would you run and then you, you, you blew the stoplight? Don't understand it. They jumped out of one car and got in another one. Where'd the car come from so fast that was behind them? A bunch of mischief for what? And then they, they live in recklessly. And that's the big thing. I don't care if they kids or not. They're doing stuff that they know they're wrong. You riding around with ski masks and hoodies on. 
in the car. They don't know if the car is stolen or not. Most likely it is. We're not even going to dance around that topic. Tear the whole damn block up, jump out and run away. How are they able to walk away? They're able to walk away. This guy in the hospital. Only thing they're worrying about is getting caught when they should have did something, shouldn't have been doing that in the first place. And that's my issue I have with this type of stuff. You know, people say, oh, they need youth, uh, more youth centers and stuff like this. Listen, the street is the street. And they had youth centers before and it was still kids out there acting a fool in the street. This makes no sense. You run, you driving through a neighborhood you ain't even familiar with, you jump out the car and run and they can't find you? How did that other cop, that car, that other car come and they run and jump in that car? So what, what that car was chasing them or, or trailing behind them for them to just jump in the car? People screaming out the license plate, got them on video. They falling out the car looking all stupid, running down the street. They could have got killed. They could have got killed. If one of my kids was one of them kids in that thing, I'd turn this dumb ass in. You're going to tell on your friends who was driving. This is crazy. Somebody's hurt and could possibly die. Just coming from work. All because some kids wanted to act a fool. This shit is unacceptable. And it's like it's rising and it's a major thing that needs to be taken care of. Among other issues in America. But we too busy sticking our nose in other countries' asses and worrying about what they do. That's why I don't vote. This stuff right here is getting out of hand. I get tired of looking at videos and looking at comments under the videos before I do these videos myself and hear people say, oh, it's the usual subjects. Oh, it's just ninjas being ninjas. We are no weakened status people right now. We are. We are. We're so far gone that you can't even chastise or say something to somebody that look like you when you have pride for yourself and care about the constant elevation of us as a people without a threat of getting killed. From speaking the obvious, make it make sense. We have fallen from grace, far. And we need to clean this shit up. If everybody's all out there for themselves, then you should take this penalty, the punishment, for what you did, for your actions. No accountability at all. And it's heartbreaking to see this type of stuff. I wish I was the age of those kids with the knowledge that I have. And that'd be the, the slogan all older people have. Man, they don't know how good they got it and they throwing their lives away. Running straight to the plantation, aka the penitentiary. For what? To have fun and drive in a car? When all you gotta do is wait, get your license, you can drive whenever you want. You work hard to get you a vehicle or your family helps you get a vehicle because they don't want to see you walking every damn way because it's dangerous out here in the street. This is craziness. And it needs to be handled immediately. I don't give a damn how young you are. You know your ass ain't supposed to drive. They catch you behind the wheel. Something need to be done to you. I'd lock all their asses up. I would. I don't give a damn if they kids or not. You know the difference between right or wrong. That's why your dumb asses ran. That could have been anybody in that car they hit. Could have been your mom. Could have been your sister. Could have been your wife with your child in the car seat in the back. That car was obliterated. Did you see that first car when he T-boned the uh, white uh, pickup truck that looked like a Dodge Durango or whatever sitting on the side? If you were sitting in there with no seatbelt, you was finished. It knocked that car clean up, up there against the building. See, there are some things out here where sorry don't fix. And it's a big difference between an honest mistake and willful error. These kids out here doing this are making willful errors. They know what can happen, but they still do it anyway. So fuck it. It is what it is. A lot of people got to go when we clean this thing up. I keep telling y'all that. I'm Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Reason channel. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. We've all done dumb things in our life. But this stuff right now that we are seeing is mind blowing to some of the craziest shit we done did. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.